Hi my friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do things a little bit different. A few of you did ask um, for me to do a studio vlog, so I thought this would kind of be the perfect time for that. Um, as most of you know, I am getting ready for a vendor event next month, and I still have tons of stuff to do for that. Um, so I thought it'd be fun maybe to bring you along as I take care of some of that stuff. Uh, the very first thing I need to do is I need to do a mock setup um, of the area that I'll have available to me just to make sure I have enough space and the flow goes well through the space. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll throw in a little bit of a clip for you guys. Okay, so hopefully the lighting and everything's okay for you guys right now. I got the basic yeah. setup, how I want everything laid yeah. out. Um, there's a couple things to do. I need to get my chalkboard sign here done. Got the business cards. This is a freebie or a giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I still need to fill out the prices and stuff for everything. This stand that I'm using yeah. for the pendants... I have to put nails in the back so that they can sit up higher because right now they're all falling down. Uh, and I'll probably stagger that so that they rest at different heights. And then yeah. our bookshelf, some yeah. of the new journals, some of the smaller paintings, got some home decor pieces here, and our card rack. Again, got to fill out the prices for everything. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with my bookmarks, so those are just kind of sitting there right now, but that'll be fine. Um, this holds my smaller prints. And we'll also hold some of my journaling bundles uh, and die cuts and stuff. And then the larger prints are over here. So I also have set up this for my paintings. And I've only put up just the one painting right now just because I wanted to make sure that the hangers that I have work. And they do. Uh, so that'll fill up with the original paintings. So yeah, still some work to be done, but pretty happy with that. Well, I think it's time to change out my wax melt. I have been doing lavender for a while now, but I just went to go see my friend Katie, Pink Clover, and uh, got this cucumber melon one, which I think is just going to be absolutely awesome for spring. So let's put one in. She was also doing a... Uh, little spin the wheel and win a prize thing so I also got this bourbon butterscotch which smells amazing but I think I'll save that one more for fall maybe I don't know I changed my mind a lot but uh yeah I'll leave a link down to her Instagram below if you are interested in candles or anything like that she has all kinds of cool products highly recommend Okay, so editing Brandy here, just realizing I got through this entire video and didn't even tell y'all about the market. Uh, so it's Radiate Vendor Markets. It'll be May 18th uh, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I know on here it says uh, 90 or 50 vendors, but it's actually going to be around 90 vendors for May from what I've heard. Uh, so it's located in Clearfield. That's just north of Salt Lake City. Um, and actually the person that I got those wax me melts from, Katie, from Pink Clover Candle, will also be one of the vendors there. And uh, yeah, there's the information for you guys. Hopefully we see some of you there. Okay, so now that we have that mock setup done and my studio is smelling wonderful, uh, we have quite a list of things to get through. Now, obviously, that wasn't all of the stuff that I have for sale. That was just enough for me to get an idea of the layout. But we have quite a few things that we need to work on. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and figure out how I can modify that necklace display because I am just super not happy with them all hanging down at the bottom like that. And the cords that I got can only be shortened so much. So I'm thinking what I'll do is put a couple nails in the back and use that to be able to stagger them and just give it a little more interest. But yeah, let's see what I can figure out. 
Okay, so uh, this is that necklace display stand. And I think what I'm gonna do is just see about where I want. So if that's about right there, then how far back would a nail have to come? It's maybe like two inches. Let's see. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll measure two inches. So, <clears throat> I have this, whoop, that's not, not that one. I have this set of nails that have these teeny tiny nails, and I think that'll work here. So I'll just use my hammer, small hammer, um, to stagger these. And now I'm wondering, do I need to make the lines down this way too, just to make sure I'm lining them up correctly? Oh, sure, why not? Okay, so here's what it looks like afterwards. I do like this a lot better. Pull back a little bit so you can see. All right, and let me show you how I did the back. My thumb is killing me because I hit it so many times with the hammer. Poor thumb. Uh, but I went with tacks instead of the nails. So I think that's going to work out perfectly fine. It holds everything in place where I want it. And the problem was, see if you can show you this, this here is really soft. So trying to nail into the back of this, it was like jumping around, bouncing around and everything. And <laughs> that just made it really difficult. So I kept hitting my thumbs. Oh, focus. Hello. It's right here. This is what you need to focus on this area. Nope, it doesn't want to. Let's just zoom in on some. Um, so yeah, it was it was just really difficult. Uh, and I didn't want y'all to have to watch me struggle through all of that. Um, all of my pendants go for the same price. So I don't need to worry about price tags for these. But I do need to worry about price tags for some other stuff. And for some of these like this one, this one, uh, this one, this one and this one, I need to make little tags for the crystals on them so that people know how to upkeep with the crystals because some of this like can't be put in water and stuff like that. So um, I think that's what we'll work on next, possibly. Yes, maybe. Let's see. Okay, so we figured out the necklace display. Super happy with that, even though my poor thumb hurts. Um, but I noticed when I was packaging up my pendants that I'm out of these tool bags. So we'll have to add that to the list of supplies to get before the show. Um, I did find a solution, I think, for the bookmarks. Sorry, one second. So I have this little, it's just, um, like for storing pencils and stuff, but let me just put a few of these in. So it does hold our bookmarks. So, sorry, I know that's kind of glary. Um, but yeah, so that should work. That should work out just fine. Still got to make more bookmarks. That's also on our list. <laughs> I know so many things. Uh, and then I thought of something else. And I can't believe I didn't think about this before. 
I I don't know if you remember, but I hung one of my pictures on that display stand and it worked out perfectly well. But what I didn't take into consideration was that my canvases are thicker. And so if I wanted to, let me see if I can find one of the little uh, hangers. <laughs> Okay, so if you see this here, it's um, it's meant to hook on over this. And that works fine for my pictures that I have in frames and stuff, but it doesn't really work for the canvas. See, uh, it won't go up under the canvas. So thankfully, <clears throat> I have a wonderful boyfriend who decided that he was going to help me very kind of him and he manipulated some of them so i'll show you the original one can i hold both at the same time I don't know. dropping things so you can see the first one is really straight and then this is the ones he manipulated and those slip right up under the canvas So now it'll be able to sit on the display. Excellent, right? So yay, thank you, Rob. One less thing for me to do. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, what I was saying earlier was these pendants here. It doesn't want to focus. Focus. <sighs> I think you got a good enough look at it earlier. Um, I think the lights, it's too bright in here right now. The sun is going crazy. Um, but some of these have uh, gemstones in them or gemstones, no, crystals. Crystals. So like this one has amethyst. I have some with rainbow moonstone, shungite, um, turquoise, citrine. And a couple other ones. Uh, so for those, I need to make tags to put on the necklaces themselves so that I can let people know um, the proper care for that gemstone. So I think I will do that next. And as I do that, I will also be double checking the prices of everything because I think... I think I changed the price on some items and I need to make sure that that's all updated. I mean, I'm going to have the little stands with the prices, but you know, uh, it, Rob's going to be helping me out. So like if I have to go to the bathroom or something, I don't want get him getting confused if the prices don't match. Um, <laughs> so just to make it a little easier on him, uh, I'm going to make sure that everything matches up perfectly. And for that, where did I put you little buddy? <clears throat> uh, for that, for the prices and the um, the gemstone tags, I'm going to use this. Oh, man, it is so bright in here right now. I'm not picking up anything. Hello, can you see me? Okay, it's Nimbot. It's N-I-I-M-B-O-T. This is one of their older models, but basically it's just a little sticker printer uh, that I can use with my phone. So I'm not going to make you watch me <laughs> print out a bunch of stickers and then attach them to things. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'll just show you an example of what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I've got all my little tags done. I thought I'd show you one of the ones for the pendants. And it just has some information on the back. Here we go. Uh, just so they know, you know, if it gets dirty or anything, how to take care of it. So there's that. And then for the cards and such, I just put on the back of them here the number and price. And then for the paintings and stuff on the back, I added the SKU number. And then it is an extra $10 for the frame. Uh, but if you don't want the frame, then it's not an extra $10.
So, yeah. So anyway, yeah, that is all of the pricing done, uh, matched up on all the items. The only things that aren't priced right now are the journals. And I think I'm just, I think I'm just going to have to list those specifically because I don't really want to put a sticker on them. A lot of them are like fabric and stuff. I don't want it to leave behind residue. Um, so I think I'll just put the prices for them uh on the little display stands which i believe we're gonna work on next so for that i'm gonna be doing it on my ipad i'll just do a quick speed through of it for you guys and then i'll see you after that Okay, so you can see here, I know it was a little hard to see on that video, so I thought I'd show you. Um, I have just my logo there really lightly in the back. Um, and then I wanted it to be pretty simple, pretty easy to read. So I just put a little bit of a border on the sides here and then just typed in the text. So I put all of them uh, on just different layers. So I can turn off that one and turn on this one and you'll see that gives me the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and print all of these out and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it is the next morning. Um, I did finish those last night. Uh, just while I was watching TV and printed them out and put them in the stands. So that's what it looks like. Again, just really lightly the logo in the back, slight borders, uh, and then super simple, just easily readable text. So those are all done, except for the ones that I need for that mesh display stand where I'm putting the original artwork. Um, and that's just because I have not decided how I want to do that yet. So that is also on the list, but I'm going to go ahead and do just one more thing with you guys today. And that's going to be to stamp my logo on some of the paper bags, um, for people when they make purchases. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. Okay. So I made a little bit of a mistake and apparently forgot to hit record on this. But I wanted to show you guys the last thing that we were supposed to do for this video anyway. Um, and basically, I just took some of my uh, paper bags that I have. And I went ahead and just did a little bit of jelly printing on them. Uh, so I have three different sizes depending on, you know, what people buy and everything. But I just thought it'd be nice to give a little bit more texture to some of these. A little bit fun, because most people who are gonna buy from somebody like me are also creative. Um, not all of them, oops, but quite a few of them. So I just thought it'd be nice to do that. And then um, I ran out of, I was going to stamp my logo on all of those, but I ran out of archival ink, so I need to run out to the store and grab that before I can stamp them, uh, but just stamping my logo on those. So that's basically what I was going to do. Uh, I'll go ahead and do all that rest of that off screen. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in any future studio vlogs, uh, please leave a comment down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I know this is something that you're interested in. I do still have quite a bit of stuff to do for the uh, vendor market. So if you guys want to see more of what I have to prepare for that, I've got some packaging I've got to do. Let's see. Yeah, there's still, <laughs> there's still quite a bit here. Um, but yeah, working on packaging and stuff like that is definitely a big part of it. So if you guys are interested in any of that, please also let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.